your unique point of view, how to become a true industry rock star. Now, there are really three phases of building authority uh, in your industry and in your niche or your niche. Setting up, number one, your authority position and the foundation. We'll get into that in a moment. This is about putting together the content that will demonstrate your expertise and your authority. Number two, you want to, how do you reach your audience? You know, how do you target them with the right marketing campaign whether it's through Facebook or whatever to deliver the content so they're going to you know, reach out to you? And then finally, to build that relationship, you want to have that ongoing email marketing campaign and, and sorry, to deepen your authorities, have live workshops and live webinars. So interestingly, uh, we did some little bit of research and found this particular graph from Hinge Research and the professional hourly rates that you can get uh, by level of authority. If you look down below here, baseline, a lot of people charge their 50 to 100 bucks an hour, you know, once they're quote unquote being a professional at whatever they may be. And then when you're a resident expert, it could double. And when you're talking about being a local hero, it could be triple. Interestingly though, look at this, rising star to industry rock side, you could be charging four to eight times more on an hourly rate. I'm talking about three, four hundred dollars all the way to seven, eight hundred dollars an hour. You do the math, that's like we're talking about two, three thousand a day to four, five thousand a day, six thousand a day. What? That is the range of a lot of high level, uh, you know, top tier consulting firms. Right? When I was working in, in the whole strategy consulting firm, whether you're in Accenture or BCG, a lot of the managers are charging around that three, four, five thousand a day mark. Now, if you're a partner, right, you're considered kind of like a global superstar, a very limited number of partners in these big firms, and they're literally charging 10 grand a day. So we're talking about, you know, up to $1,400 an hour. You do the math on an eight hour, that's, that's, a, that's, a, rock, that's a solid 10, $11,000. So that's why we want to help you become that star in your niche through the power of positioning and marketing as well. If obviously you already, you may already be a rising star, but you could be doubling through being an industry rock star by being on camera. It's the, it's the star effect. Right? That's why these, you know, movie stars and and uh, singers and all these people are, ma are making ridiculous, you know, uh, multiples in terms of income. Now, interestingly as well, the buyer demand is in the industry rockstar area. It's not necessarily the global superstar. Not many people can afford the ten, twelve thousand uh, dollars a day, or whatever rates, or twenty thousand dollars. Even these super superstars could be charging fifty to a hundred thousand dollars just for a day to speak. Right? So there's a lot of demand for the for the industry rock stars who are charging the two, three thousand to five to six thousand dollar level. Now, you could be famous like a George Clooney and make 50 to $100 million a year. How many of George Clooney's are there? Or you could be like a Russell Brunson and make kind of that type of money as well. Not quite as much, but he's certainly a rock star in an internet marketing niche. He's internet famous. So in your niche, we want to help you become you know, internet famous. There are really three criteria to determine you know, where you build your authority. Hopefully you've already gone through part of this in module number one. What is your expertise? Tapping into your work and life experiences and your field of study and your unique ideas. What's the demand though? Is your expertise something people are looking for and willing to pay and are already paying for? And is it really fulfilling? A lot of people try to get into the experts business and they don't consider many different factors like this. Is it going to allow you to have the freedom in your life and in the business uh, as well, ability to choose how you use your time and who to work with and so on. So let's do some exercise here. What's your unique point of view? This is really critical because when you're talking about headlines and uh, teasers, what title you know for your ad or the first few lines of your ad will captivate someone that is completely different. It's a unique point of view. Well, what is the field and audience you want to be an authority for? Let's just quickly answer that question, okay? Pause the video and let's just do this quick, quick exercise. Okay, phase one, five steps to creating your unique point of view. Let's delve it deeply into how to come up with a unique point of view. Your USP, everyone's talking about unique selling proposition, but from a expert uh, point of view, it's your unique point of view. That's what we're gonna focus on. Create your ideas feed and you can you know, select the key ideas for your point of view from a whole variety of sources. You can use Feedly, one of the world's most popular RSS and blog reader 
apps, um, free app, mind you. You can go download that, 15 million users. Uh, you can use Feedly to follow the top blogs. You can research books and courses online. And then that will help you create your framework and signature system to support your point of view. So have a look at what's out there in the industry and kind of mold it to your perspective, your personal unique point of view. And then you want to create supportive stories and metaphors to support uh, this unique point uh, positioning. You want to speak about it, you want to write about it, you want to post and communicate this point of view uh, and also get the feedback initially. And then you need to create your product. You need to create your webinar that we'll talk about shortly for, for your point of view, your lead magnet. So these five things, really, let's do some exercises on this. What are the common misconceptions people have? Think about that in your particular niche. Where do you disagree with the status quo? Everyone seems all these so-called experts are saying kind of similar things. How can you kind of disrupt that? What are the methods you found to work after you know you've been testing using them over the past years? What are the most overused points of views in your industry that you can take an opposite perspective? Everyone's talking about webinars. We created a, a, an ad where it's at the death of webinars. That actually did pretty well. We had a really good uh, opt-in rate. Continuing on, what's your secret sauce? of getting amazing results for your clients. What is the one most significant thing that you could advise your clients to do in order to make massive progress in their business? Now, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There's a lot of gurus out there, uh, but you can put your spin on it. They've already created their unique twist, and we've certainly looked at other Facebook ads and modeled off them and put our unique point of view to differentiate from them which we'll explain a little bit later as well. What are the powerful mega trends in your industry that people don't fully utilize yet? A lot of people are getting onto Facebook. A lot of people are doing video on Facebook, but how many people are doing high impact videos, All right? So that's, we're stacking a mega trend here. Everyone's getting, gradually the, you know, we're getting more and more sophisticated with the video production side and it's becoming a lot more cost effective for the average entrepreneur. Number eight, is there any new developments, insights or research that disrupt your industry and moves the needle when implemented? And then uh, let's go through all those questions in your workbook, right? If you haven't downloaded it already, please download it. Go through each of these questions and really think. It's a similar questions. We really want you to write, start thinking and brainstorming potential copy that will work really well for your Facebook campaign. And then you can try to synthesize these new and stronger ideas from what you have already written down. So it's all about synthesizing different points of view. And which of these ideas are more congruent with your strengths? So you can really back up with case studies and stories. Pause the video now and just do this exercise. Now, how many people are real buyers? If you look at a crowd of a thousand people uh, in your audience, you may have 50% of them uh, that might actually need your help, you know, you know. but only maybe 10 to 20% or 30% of your audience are even aware that they need your product and service, and they're not really ready to buy. And really, only about two, 3% of your audience is ready to buy, and they may not consider you. They might be considering other options. So it's a very competitive market out there. So Utilizing things like you know retargeting and targeted Facebook ad campaigns can really help you tap into the that pool that really you know that you can serve. So how do you give away your authority? Well, this is what we call the lead magnet. You can give away your authority by just creating an easy to consume piece of content. High value expands on your unique point of view, disrupts the status quo. As I said, it could be even a free book. This is one of uh, Russell Brunson's um, new Tripwire offers: is pay for shipping and a few bucks for five dollars and you can get his free copy of his expert secrets now a fantastic book i bought one <laughs> myself i'm not an affiliate you can be of course you can go to expertsecrets.com forward slash free book and uh, get your free copy there ship in less than seven days and all these other incredible bonuses that he's offering i think he even has tony robbins or someone giving an endorsement give away your authority lead magnet choose a controversial title look at this procrastinate on purpose don't outsource, obliterate. Uh, it, was, uh, it was some other thing that I saw. Uh, choose a controversial title. Agitate the problem. Imply that the established way doesn't work. Introduces your unique point of view. Case studies, calls to action. See, look at this title. Five permissions to multiplying your time. He did a great TED talk, weren't you? Procrastinate on purpose. Everyone's talking about you know, stop procrastinating, you know, take massive action. But he's like, no, <laughs> procrastinate on purpose. 
effective traffic sources. So once you've got the lead magnet, what about marketing to the right people? Or paid advertising? You know, we really subscribe to that. Facebook video ads in particular, being featured in conferences, summits as a speaker, even virtual summits, guest blogging, reaching out on social media. So let's work on creating your lead magnet. It is it's part of the webinar that we'll be talking about, but you may want to create a, sh a small lead magnet, when it, whether it's a cheat sheet, framework, white paper, mini course. We started off with creating a nine day mini course as well, book or ebook. Well, that's obviously the webinar. Two, what type of lead magnet is perceived as highly valuable in your industry? Well, for us, offering time, our time is very valuable. And we've positioned it a way that where these people are saying, hey, these guys are normally five, 10 grand a day, but you know, he's offering a free, free consultation. We have this person who sold $2 billion worth of stuff on television, Forbes Riley, giving us that endorsement. So pause the video now and really think through these exercises, these questions, and we'll be right back. Phase two, three types of campaigns you can consider. We'll just quickly go through it. Your list, obviously, uh, email list, uh, paid advertising, Facebook, uh, joint ventures. That's something that we're doing now as well in a big way. And really, this is the next phase once you've developed a lot of your course material and you have a product, you're productized. Extending, ascending your leads on your value ladder. After the lead magnet, you can offer more value to your prospective clients through strategy calls. We really big into that. High value audits, right? Uh, webinars and strategy calls combined. You want to then finally in the phase three, you want to cultivate the trust, credibility, and likability with your prospects. Set up your automated email sequence. We'll talk about that uh, in a later module. And we're building up a 14 email sequence. It's very important. Set up your authority foundation. Once again, let's summarize putting together the content that will uh, demonstrate your authority, your spin, your unique point of view. Identify your audience, produce ideas and contents that in content that engages your audience, create your unique point of view. Secondly, reach your audience, create a marketing campaign, uh, decide upon your marketing approach. Is it a webinar? Is it a cheat sheet? Is it a strategy call? And then finally, build that ongoing relationship. They're not all going to be reaching out immediately. It might take a, a few weeks or a month, uh, depending on your how good your email marketing and other follow-up sequences are. So that's about it. Uh, create your 14 day welcome to the tribe campaign as we recommend set up the technical part of the automation uh, and then broadcast the latest news as well so don't don't just do the automated stuff do fresh stuff you know at least once or twice a week that's it we'll see you on the next video where we go deep into other aspects of frameworks and systems Holy cow, I can't believe you watched the whole video, so thank you very much. Be sure to hammer that thumb thingy comment below if you have any questions or if you have anything nice to say, we'll appreciate it. So we'll see you on the next video. Ciao.